All right, what's going on, you Bohemian Bullfrogs? Yeah, we're bringing back the classic Black Ops 2 uh, intro right there. That's the that's the originator right there for anyone wondering where you get all these crazy these crazy animal adjectives and and bullshit like that. So it was a Bohemian Bullfrog, Bohemian, some something like that. To this day, I still do not know. But today, we're gonna be talking about the weapons within the World War II beta. Uh, so right now, again, playing on PC. Um, I'm using the uh, the Good Sniper. I think it's like the M19031203 something like that. Um, but anyways, running Ballistic Calibration and Rapid Fire. And basically, you know, I'm not I'm not no pomage. I need the rapid fire, you know. I don't I, I don't need the extended mags because let's be honest, I don't think I'm hitting no quad feed just yet. Uh just it's I am pretty good at sniping on boots, but it's been a while. Uh but yeah, so right now going completely unedited one take in this uh commentary. So I'm watching with you guys. Um but yeah, so wanted to talk about the weapons. I wrote some things down, some general topics, so I'm going to go ahead and start discussing those. For, or, eh, not for, um, we're going to be starting on the look of the weapons, and the look is very nostalgic, obviously, because they pretty much were all, uh, I'm not sure there's even, like, one, like, prototype gun, like, these were all weapons that were used, um, kind of like a nerd like that. Uh, but yeah, so basically the the look of all the weapons are Very like It's just really like nice to look at They're just they're basically just you know, it, it looks like you're looking at a piece of history almost and You know, it, it, I think they really nailed the, the, the overall look of the weapons um, Don't know how that shot missed but second shot I definitely missed but yeah, uh and that brings me to the feel, very nostalgic again. You know, it's been so long since we've had, hit a tree right there. It's been so long since we've had like, you know, I, I feel like I've been using, you know, just nerf guns in Call of Duty for the past, what the fuck? Hacker, this guy's a hacker. I feel like, uh, yeah, we've just been using like fake like plastic Toys R Us pieces of junk in the last couple of Call of Duties. Granted, there's there's a couple that were pretty much based on uh, actual designs, but you know it's it's just good to to go back to this stuff because I kind of grew up playing. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys played them or not, but I grew up playing a lot of Medal of Honor games, and that's sort of where I got into uh, FPSs was uh, on actual Medal of Honor games. Granted, the games were not that good, but they were, uh, I think one or two were really good. But other than that, I always would go over to a friend's house and play that. Um, next topic is pull-up time. Basically the time you go from, uh, from sprint to being able to shoot or aim in. And before, before this, uh, there's actually like, it was actually really bad, and uh, this is something we complained a lot about in uh, at a uh, sledgehammer. But you know, it is. Oh, this is actually this is actually a nice feed right here. Missed, but then boom! You try to hit the dolphin dive right there. But anyways, uh, yeah, something. It was a little. It's a little bit slow, uh, or it was a little bit slow. Now it's a lot faster. Uh, I think if you ask me, I think this is pretty much perfect. But I always thought that I thought the one was a little bit slow before, like before they patch it. I thought it was a little bit slow, but I thought it was definitely still playable. A lot of people thought that it wasn't actually playable and that they needed, like, it was an absolute "you need to fix this" sort of ordeal. Um, but yeah, like how it is now. Obviously, I think it could be a little bit faster, maybe, but. Love how lo, I love the speed of the pull-up time right now. Uh, next thing is iron sights. The iron sights are so satisfying to use, and 
you know, for some reason, I like using the STG with the, uh, what is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's the, if the lens is like the, the, you know, like the T site or the dot site, but the T site's kind of terrible. Uh, the, the, like the red dot side, I'm pretty sure it's just the lens. Um, that one is really good. Love using that. A lot of people have been using that on the STG. And I think, you know, like I said in the other, or, uh, and the other video that I put up yesterday, I felt like, you know, if I were to make that video again, if I were to do that exact same gameplay, I would take off grip and put, uh, the lens side on or the, the good side, the red dot side. There's something about the PPSH iron sights. So much fun to use. Uh, the Thompson really reminds me of Call of Duty 2. And what was it? AW, the ASM-1, reminded me of Call of Duty 2 as well. And Call of Duty 2 was also one of the first, uh, you know, next generation games I played. I remember I'd, I'd always, uh, like when my parents or whatever, would need to go to Walmart. It was right next to a GameStop. And I would want to go to Walmart with him so I could go to GameStop and play the demo because at the time I didn't have a gaming console. I think I had, well, I had a GameCube and all we had was Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. We didn't really have any uh, FPS games. And then the last thing, uh, we're talking about camos. I think I, I randomly have like a thought in my head and I don't want to say it's for sure or anything, but I remember reading somewhere that they're not going to come out with like crazy funky camos or you know maybe i think they're i think they're staying to the original you know like call of duty 4 mwr style camos or weapon kits or you know it's probably going to be something like that i really really hope that there isn't going to be any funky you know pink Tommy guns or or you know orange mp40s. I hope to god that that is not the case um, It's at, I think it's at the point almost in vi in video games where it's actually like not even cool to have a neon colored uh, You know weapon of choice, but it's just like it's just kind of lame in my opinion and I just want to see some some like blue tigers red tigers Something something that's just kind of back to basics. I really hope that they're gonna go that route and just give us some basic but Satisfying and beautiful camo. I really hope that they're just gonna stay True to you know the World War II historical factor throw in you know actual camos I think that would be really cool to see so I really hope that they do that um, like I said That's just my my hopes and wishes but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay with that being said guys be sure to leave a like let me know what you guys want to see camo wise uh when the full when the full game drops on november 3rd um pretty sure is it the exact same date as the iphone x you know apple they got me again damn it they got me again i'll be getting that phone maybe would you guys want to see a video on that maybe i don't know so Anyways, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.